In this video we'll briefly discuss what is captopril, how it works, what it's used for, the dose and side effects, drug interactions, contraindications and precautions. Captopril is an antihypertensive drug, belongs to a category of drugs called angiotensin-converting enzyme inhibitors. It competitively inhibits angiotensin-converting enzyme, preventing conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2 which is a potent vasoconstrictor, that also stimulates aldosterone secretion. Results in decreased blood pressure, potassium retention, and reduced sodium reabsorption. It is available as 25 and 50 mg tablets. Captopril is used in the management of hypertension, accelerated or malignant hypertension, heart failure, left ventricular dysfunction after myocardial infarction, diabetic nephropathy, hypertensive crisis, and severe childhood hypertension. The usual initial dose of captopril is 25 mg 2 to 3 times per day. May be increased to 50 mg 2 to 3 times per day. Captopril may cause hypotension, dry cough at night, hyperkalemia, increases potassium in the blood, headache, dizziness, nausea, renal impairment allergic reactions, angioedema, hepatitis, neutropenia, and a granulocytosis in immunodeficient patients, anemia in patients with chronic renal impairment. Caution in combined use of angiotensin receptor blockers, nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, and potassium sparing diuretics, renal impairment, hypotension due to volume depletion, severe heart failure, renovascular hypertension, and aortic stenosis or outflow obstruction. And contraindications include pregnancy, bilateral renal artery stenosis, hypersensitivity, and acute myocardial infarction with hypotension. Captopril increases toxicity of following drugs. Drugs that increase toxicity of captopril include and those that decrease effectiveness of captopril include. First you should know that hypertension is controlled, not cured. So regular follow-up visits is very important. There are many additional interventions for controlling hypertension such as weight reduction and exercise, stress management, and quit smoking. There is a potential for temporarily altered impairment of taste sensation and for dry cough. Try to make position changes slowly, and wait a few minutes before standing to minimize orthostatic hypotension. Report these symptoms to your physician. That's all for this video. Subscribe and click on the bell icon for more animated medical videos like this one.